Alright, so in this video we're going to be going through a couple examples that we didn't do in class on tabular multiplication or tabular division, excuse me. So just recall that from class we said that the polynomial being divided is called the dividend, and the one doing the dividing is the divisor. The divisor tells me the number of rows, which is always equal to one more than the degree of the divisor. So the degree of the divisor is one, and one plus one is two. The number of columns will be figured out by looking at x squared and x. x squared divided by x, oops, divided by x gives me x to the first, or x. I'm just going to do one more than the exponent, and that is 2. So that means I'm going to have 2 rows by 2 columns. Okay, so the divisor is going to fit nicely along the right-hand side, and the dividend is going to wrap around the left-hand side. So I have x squared plus 6x plus 9, and notice that each has its own box. The x squared is with this upper left, the 6x is over here in the diagonal box, or the lower left box, and the 9 is over here, or matches up with the lower right. We're going to move the x squared in the first box, and ask ourselves, x times what gives me x squared? That would have to be x. So x times x gives me x squared. I'm going to finish out the column by using the x and say x times 3 gives me 3x. Now recall that this box and this box in tabular multiplication give me this number. So I want 6x. I have 3 or I have 3x. What needs to go in this box so that these two boxes add to 6x? It has to be 3x. So then the process starts over. x times what gives me 3x? Plus 3, right? So then I'm going to finish out the column. So I have 3 times 3 that gives me 9. And notice that I have these two numbers equal to each other. So since these numbers are equal to each other, that means there is no remainder. So our final answer is x plus 3, and that is our quotient. So if I wanted to do another example, say I wanted to do number 4, where I want to find the quotient of x squared minus 5, x squared minus, excuse me, x to the 5th minus 1 divided by x minus 1. I'm going to start with looking at the dividend and the divisor. So the divisor, again, tells me the number of rows. So it's always going to be one more than the degree of it. So I have x minus 1, so that's going to be 1 plus 1 that gives me 2. And the number of columns. We're going to look at x to the 5th and x. So x to the 5th divided by x gives me x to the 4th. And 4 plus 1 gives me 5. So I'm going to have 2 rows and 5 columns. Just move this out of the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna move this over too, just to give myself more room. Okay, so I'm gonna put my divisor along the, on the along the right, so x minus one. And I notice I have a lot of boxes to fill, and I only have x to the fifth minus one. So that means you need to fill in your place values with zeros. So I have x to the fifth plus zero x to the fourth plus zero x to the third plus zero x squared plus zero x minus one. Okay? So I'm going to wrap that around. See, I'm going to move this a little bit over too so I have more room. Okay, so I have x to the fifth and 0x to the 4th, 0x to the 3rd, 0x squared, 0x, and lastly, minus 1. 
All right, so we're going to go through x to the fifth, moved into the first box. So x times what gives me x to the fifth? That will be x to the fourth. Finish out your column. x to the fourth times negative 1 is negative x to the fourth. And now you're looking at these two boxes. These add together to give you this number. So if this is negative x to the fourth and I want 0x to the fourth, this must be positive x to the fourth. Continue your process. x times what gives me x to the fourth? That's x to the third. Finish it out. Okay, so I got negative x cubed. I want 0x cubed, so this box up here must be a positive x cubed. Again, because these two boxes must add to this number down here, 0x cubed. Okay, x times what gives me x cubed? It has to be x squared, so x times x squared gives me x cubed. Continue out your column, so negative x cubed, or excuse me, negative x squared. There we go. Now I need 0x squared. I have negative x squared, so that means this top box must also be positive, so it's going to be x squared. Okay, x times what gives me x squared? That must be x. Finish out the column. x times negative 1 gives me negative x. Okay, almost there. I, ha I want 0x. I have negative x, so this top box must be a positive x. Again, because x plus negative x or x minus x is going to give me 0x. So now I'm going to go finish out this. I have x times what gives me itself. That's going to be plus 1. And 1 times negative 1 gives me negative 1. And notice, I'm just going to do this in a different color. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so notice that these two numbers are equal. So since they're equal, that means the remainder is equal to 0. So if we were to write our final quotient, what our final answer would be for what the, divi the, what the division resulted in, it's x to the fourth plus x to the third plus x squared plus x plus 1.